Oh, here it comes. Wow. That is awesome. I hope we get different types of drones, too. We've only seen these two, but what I see, I like. some sort of spaceship. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's Carrier Command 2. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to the demo for the game. Coming soon to Steam. The demo available now on Steam. Carrier Command 2 demo. You should be able to add it to your wish list too. And on the 16th of June, Steam is adding a ton of games for demos, so you'll be able to find out about new and upcoming games and try them out before you buy them. So make sure you pay attention to uh, Steam for the day it comes out and grab all the games you'd like. This game's pretty cool so far, actually. We got to create a character, and you can kind of set it up this way, which is neat. The previous game was uh, rated quite highly by everybody who played it, and I hope the same for this one, too. Looks pretty cool, though, that we can literally look around a uh, spaceship, though. I thought this was more of an aircraft carrier game, but it could be. I'm not sure exactly what to uh, really see, because this is my first look at the Carrier Command series, and my first look at the sequel. Well, without further ado, let's jump into the game, then and see what it's all about. Looks like multiplayer will be coming to the game, but for now we'll probably just have to do a single player game and it looks like there's a way to play test as well. Maybe something like a uh, unlimited mode or something. Let's start with our campaign. Must be procedurally generated if they're, yep, creating and loading the world. Well, possibly. Let's see how it all goes down. Right. Well, I like the atmosphere of this game already. Same folks who are also making uh, High Fleet. The uh, game, of course, with the aircraft carriers in the desert. Kind of like a Deserts of Karak game. Microprose is like kicking ass out of nowhere. Welcome to Carrier Command 2 Playtest. This is a demo version of the full game as such many features have been disabled to make it easier for us to manage feedback and improve the core gameplay experience. Okay. We'll be revealed in subsequent playtests as we approach full release, but for now, please enjoy this preview. We look forward to your feedback. Cool. 
All right. Oh, are we beached? Looks like we're leaning or something. It feels like we're leaning it, doesn't it? <laughs> we're listing to a side. Oh, wait. It's because the... Uh... Oh, wow. This is the actual... Uh... Oh, we're at dry dock, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, this is great. Wow, we can actually... Okay, this would be an amazing multiplayer game. So think... Already the graphics remind me a lot of Stormworks, right? And it also reminds me of uh, Wolfpack, where a group of people may have to work together in order to launch uh, aircraft off the ship, and then, of course, to navigate and uh, prepare defenses and stuff, too, like Sea Whiz, close in weapon systems. Take a look around a little bit before we go anywhere. Oh, this looks good. Although there's like a weird fisheye thing going on, like a, a POV type thing. But this is good because you're in pretty tight quarters, so to be able to see everything is nicer than looking around. Yeah, it's kind of a little fisheye lens going on, but that's okay. All right, so... Oh, the, yep, there's some tor... Is that torpedoes? Yeah, it could be a torpedo launcher there. Maybe a missile launcher, who knows. Um, oh, yeah, those are missile launchers there. Cool. Oh, dude, that's awesome. All right. Uh, let's see... So what exactly is going on here? Oh, what is that? Some sort of a parachute? Oh, there's a whole island behind us. Cool. All right. Wow, the structure is so massive. Takes us a while to walk across. And I recently walked across the uh, USS Midway, thinking that that was quite a quite a big ship. And uh, yeah, it's got nothing on modern day stuff, but still a massive vessel that one is. Okay, well, let's take a look outside and what else is out here. So it looks like more like radar dishes and sensors of all sorts of types. Cool. All right, let's go up to the bridge and we'll activate the power breaker then as instructed. But let's see if we can take the long way back and find out what else is around. Yeah, so we got hangar doors here, maintenance bays. We've probably got cruise quarters and things. I believe the aircraft we're launching may be drones for obvious purposes because you can't get, you know... 10,000 people together in order to uh, be a part of an aircraft carrier. Quite a lot of people on one of those. Let's go ahead and head up to the top then. Back up to the bridge. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and throw on the uh, power breaker. Activate power breaker. Done. Use helm. Okay. Use navigation screen. We have 100% fuel. Isn't this nuclear? Should be 100% for like a million years. <laughs> Deploy carrier. Oh, neat. Yeah, it looks like we're close to something. All right. From uh, behind us. All right, start engines. Let's see, there's our breakers. Steering lock. Maintain handling. Headlights, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Fuel engine. Ah, there's the engine start button there. Let's look around. Engine stop. Side thrusters. Reverse. Throttle and speed. Okay. Any aircraft? Oh, okay, yeah. So you can have each person at a station. Oh, dude, this is going to be sweet. Uh, let's go to... Uh, maybe ahead one-third. I guess we'll keep going until they tell us. Okay. Yeah, all ahead full, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Open the pause menu. Ah, okay. So we see the names of these islands. Vulcan, Elwood, Brine. Open the pause menu. Open the help tab. Destroy all enemy carriers to win the game. Capture islands to expand your logistics network. Defend your islands from enemy carrier attacks. Oh! This is the island co uh, hopping campaign from World War II. Except uh, with modern drones and stuff. Navigate to an enemy island. Okay. Well, I think we're on our way to one. If we just keep going ahead, there seemed to have been an island. Yeah, right in front of us. Cardiographic wind, fog. Oh, dude. It's cool. It, it, it all kind of looks like the 80s. It reminds me of like a, a little bit like Alien. You know, the computers in that, uh, in that uh, game and also the movie too. But I guess the game's a better example because they really expand on it and you can actually use those. Okay, I think we're just going ahead straight straight ahead then. Yep. Yep, 48. Uh... Oh, here we go. We can see our propulsion. 
Traveling at about uh, 55 knots. We can see our heading and our depth radar. Damn. So this is really cool. So each station... Yeah, you, can, you have your air traffic controller here. You got your defensive systems here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Close in weapon system status. So you can activate all those guns more than likely and see them firing. Maybe these will be cameras that can show what they're shooting at. Dude. This is going to be really cool. Uh, area to mitigate damage. Damage control and inventory, too. So it looks like maybe... Well, I mean, if... Oh, yeah, you could have a couple of people working each stand. What? Oh, these are drone pilots here. Surface and air. Oh, man. This single player is not going to do it justice. Not at all. This is going to be really amazing with multiplayer. Okay, we see... Uh, let's see. Is this a representation of depth? Oh, that's fog. Okay. How do we turn those on and off? Oh, just clicking like that. Okay. So, wind, vehicle team colors. Yeah, there's a lot of information you can get here. That's crazy. And then you can also see the hollow map. We could navigate to the island to our left. So, let's change our heading. I wonder if there's a way we can actually um, plot out it. But uh, I guess now we have to figure out our heading then. Looks like it's already marked the nearest island for us there, unless that's north. Although I can't... Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, so you can see us uh, listing and whatnot. That's cool. Is there a way to back out the navigation? Oh, there we go. We just scroll. Okay, enemy island to our left, to our right. So we'll head over this way now. Now, I'm hoping underneath the uh, deck there's a hell of a lot more to see. I'm already really impressed with what's up here because this means, you know, one, this game doesn't seem so crazily graphically intense. So, again, just like Stormworks, uh, within Stormworks, there's a lot of options in order to make it uh, playable and smooth for everybody. But in this case, it's so cool to be working together on a big mission. And this mission would be whatever the carrier is assigned to. In this case, the campaign is to conquer all the islands and destroy the enemy fleet. It would be an enemy airbase here on this island. So we're pretty close now uh, to what I think was Elwood Island. So we'll see what's there. As soon as we get a little bit closer. We shouldn't really have to get this close as a carrier. We could probably launch attacks from anywhere in the map, really, but it's okay. It's all just so you can see the action. Otherwise, it'd be kind of boring to just launch sorties all day and not be able to see anything. Okay, we're getting pretty close. Love all the information. I'm going to have to get used to it all, learn where everything is and what everything does. We got alarms. That's the alarm. That's a pretty bad alarm. <laughs> I thought it would like be a red alert thing. Okay. Engine start, engine stop. There we go. All right, let's come to a full stop here. Yep. Oh, they probably want me to go... Oh, all the way back. Okay. Thought that would be reversed. Arm main gun. All right, we're getting ready to shoot now. Oh, day-night cycle is working beautifully. Cool. All right, main gun armed. Viewing scope. Oh, we have a cannon on board as well. Uh, set camera to manual control. Okay. Enable stabilization. Observe uh, island to tag any visible enemy targets. Oh, they got vehicles on patrol. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Like, military tech like this is like this, where it's kind of pixely and it, it, it's a little gritty and visceral, but it's it's amazing. It's so cool. Like some of the on-screen displays. It, this is like a Desert Storm, in a way. Cycle uh, support weapon to carry our gun. Uh, carry, carry our gun. Oh, I see. So we got missile, 
So we got uh, carrier missile, gun, FLR, ART, M okay, guided missiles, okay. Fire, carrier, gun. All right, do we have to lead? Requesting support. Oh, we're, we're basically marking and the AI is firing for us. Oh, get wrecked! First try, boys. I need to see a first try wall from all of our members down below. That is amazing. Dude, if you've not subbed already, dude, don't become a subscriber. Become a carrier. Oh, you can't? All right. Well, then just become a subscriber right now. This is this is amazing. I love this. Have these vehicles been completely overwhelmed by water? It looked like they were out on like a little sand dune and got just destroyed. That's hilarious. Exit viewing scope. No, I want to keep blowing stuff up. Oh, man. <laughs> Deploy all surface vehicles near enemy island. How do we do that? Oh, can we actually... Oh, we're not just like a carrier. We're also kind of like a... Like a landing ship, too. Do carriers have that capability? Maybe a little bit, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Deploy all surface vehicles near enemy island. Okay. So we have our surface vehicles. So surface three, four, two, one. Uh, wait for surface vehicles to deploy. This is amazing. I am absolutely blown away and delighted by this. This is so cool. Look, the vehicles are smoking down there. We got a beautiful sun. That is so freaking cool. That is amazing. And I like the art style choice. Like, it seems like this would be a downgrade, but games like Stormworks and uh, other kind of like voxel-based and vehicle-based games like this really show that they work because they just look so smooth and stuff. Just cool. Feels more sci-fi. All right, so we need to wait for those surface vehicles to deploy. This is gonna be great. Can we turn on lights everywhere? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Oh, there's an actual elevator here. Cool, let's go all the way to the bottom. While we're waiting for those uh, little vessels to go around, we'll check out what else is around the carrier. Seems for the most part, we only get to go to the bridge. And that makes sense because that's where everything is going down. I don't know if we'll have to actually open up any more hatches or go to uh, maintenance bay or whatever. But cool how we can turn on all the lights, open all the door. Oh my god, that is awesome. Oh, there we go, baby. We have drones. Ah, so this is where the vehicles launched from. So the virus bot and the uh, other boat and whatever else is with us launched there. Here's our... Here's our Air Force. Oh, man. Those are some big boys there. We got missiles. We got mini guns. Cannons mounted on it. Damn, that's awesome. So we got two of those to start with. I'm sure there's some sort of way to change out your loadout in terms of, like, changing them from anti-aircraft or anti-surface duty or anti-ship duty. And then, of course, being able to put a ton of... Uh, other vehicles and such on here based on the mission and this of course the elevator to bring them up to the uh, to the deck to launch amazing large crane there maybe to grab them so they don't have to taxi out it just goes over there grabs them picks them up drops them here and then they go out onto the elevator that's probably how that works that is incredible great music I just, I'm, I'm down with this 100% this is great you know, multiplayer though. I want to do some multiplayer. All right, let's go back up to the bridge and see what's going on. Cool that we can call the lift too. So I don't know if there's any reason for anybody to go down to those levels, but it would be really cool if there was some sort of thing we had to do for uh, rearming and refueling and repairing those uh, aircraft or maybe the, the ground attack vehicles. This is incredible. I, I'm, I'm blown away. And this is the thing that we've always wanted in, uh, for example, you know, Stormworks again, there's rumors that that game will be getting some sort of, um, you know, DLC to separate it to, to have weapon systems, but I'm completely down with the whole rescue system and researching and, you know, bringing people around via aircraft and via boat. But in this case, you know, combat is pretty amazing because it looks so... <laughs> it looks very serious. There's even an AC fan rolling around. I mean, the detail here is pretty, pretty amazing, actually. You know, there's pixelated games like this, too, uh, that are uh, 2D story games or voxel games, and they're pretty impressive. There's a lot of good stuff out there that you kind of have to get past the surface in order to see truly what's going on. 
Oh, we have the we're at the vehicle control now. So it looks like our guys are in combat. I see uh, exclamation points here. So they must be engaging with. Oh, oh, I thought he got destroyed there. This is gonna take some time. Is there a way to speed up? Okay, I'm gonna send this one up here. Now there's two enemy vehicles there. Fire support would just be more useful here. I don't I don't think we can actually do that, but let, let's give it a shot. If we go back to our viewing scope. If we go to manual, stabilization, cycle weapon. Now where's our friendly vehicles? In there and there. Why not just shoot then? Beautiful. There it comes. Ah, okay, because they're in the water, so it wouldn't really... Try again. So we can see a ammunition count of about 10 remaining. But I don't want to wait any longer. What else do we have? Ground artillery. Oh, really? There's the enemy satellite dish that we need to capture. So I think these vehicles are also... They can also float. They're amphibious. Let's see what everything does, though. Oh, unavailable. Okay. Oh. Our vehicle's gonna shoot back. Bra crane. Oh, wait. Crane status. Oh, this must be for the... Oh, yeah. This is the air traffic control station. We want this one. Vehicle control. Wow. So this guy actually has to launch the aircraft, too, with the crane. Alright, we kind of see the battle playing out. Not as exciting this time, to be honest, but... Okay, let's go ahead and close in on those guys. Attack target gun. Oh, we actually have to mark the... Okay, I thought they would attack move. I thought they would just be able to engage because they were close by. Pretty damn amazing. Not much to do at the moment, though. But, you know, capturing uh, five islands like that or whatever is not too bad. Not to mention multiplayer if you're against another enemy carrier. That's going to be pretty exciting to be able to attack each other's carrier or surface targets. That's got to be back where we started. Ah. Can we call out barges to resupply? Okay, there's the enemy sh vessels there, or uh, vehicles. And this one's stationary. Oh, did our... Oh! Did we lose a vehicle just now? Okay, I think we may have just lost a vehicle at the satellite dish. The, the X's must have been, um... The ones that live in Texas. No, no. Those must be the enemy vehicles that were destroyed... By the uh, combat there. These guys are fleeing. Man, I want to be able to launch aircraft or something. Can I launch the drones? <laughs> This needs to go a lot faster. Let's see if I can find a vehicle to launch. Yeah, I guess it's not going to do anything because we might not even have 
air uh, anti-ground. They're going to de deploy here. Yeah, we might not be equipped for surface combat, so that might not work out. Oh, runway lights, though. Oh, damn. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man. Everything can be interacted with. Okay, does this... Does this mean it's on the elevator? Let's let's check the. Uh... Oh, I see. Empty, loaded, and raised. Oh, it's raising now. Oh, dude. All right, let's launch some aircraft then. Let's see what we can do. Oh, dude. That's amazing. Oh man. Oh, and then it's gonna get launched on the cat itself onto the catapult. Look at that. And there it goes. Wow, it's all automatic. That's great. Now, can we select some targets for you? The Albatross. Alright, head over here. Missile single, double gun. Do a gun run. I guess they do have guns, so gun run is applicable. It looks like... Uh, maybe a, a boat dropped off this other seal. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the ground vehicles. Looks like we did destroy all the ground targets now, so the Albatross can switch... Oh, it's taking it. Oh, look at that. AA fire coming up. That's amazing. That's so cool. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, she's down, but damn. That is so cool, dude. Oh, I wonder if we can build up bases on the islands. That'd be so cool to be able to invest some of our resources to set up defenses. So no wonder we lost that vehicle around that radar because, you know, they're they're quite heavily armed. Okay. So sending in the uh, Albatross is going to be quite dangerous here, whether it's equipped for anti-ground uh, warfare or anti-ship or whatever. Those seem like they're going to be destroyed often. Oh man, the fact that they let us do that outside the tutorial is amazing. I love that. Oh, and you can see all the weapons that we get too. So we have 160 millimeter, 120, 120 uh, up at the top there. Yeah, so 120 there. Smoke, 30 and 40 millimeter. Large munitions, so we got hardpoint missiles and such for the aircraft. Torpedoes at the very bottom here. Cruise missiles, TV guided missiles, hardpoint torpedo countermeasures. Oh, dude, there is a lot to take take into account here. If you got some friends who love Navy games, if you love yourself some, uh, like, for example, Wolfpack, then this is going to be the perfect, perfect game. All different types of weather, which affects air traffic. Oh, let's launch another sortie over the island just to see how it works. It's so cool to see the aircraft launch. So once we hit that button, it's pretty autonomous. Once the aircraft is launched, we then have control over it to set it up. But it takes maybe about a good mm, maybe two minutes or so from the moment you hit that button to the moment you have control over it. 120 seconds to uh, get everything situated. Damn, that's cool. And now it's another morning over the island. Now, while we're doing this, too, we wouldn't want to be s sitting stationary. We'd want to be, you know, moving around the island, possibly fighting with another carrier. If we sneak up on their island when they're uh, sneaking up to destroy us, then we'll have to switch from destroying an island to defending ourselves and destroying their carrier. But there could be way more missions to this. And this is just a tutorial. As they mentioned, a lot of stuff is missing here. So I can't wait to see what they have. This is great. Just, it just looks so cool. I love it. Alright, it's our aircraft here. Uh, we're waiting on A2 to deploy. Oh, here it comes. Wow. That is awesome. I hope we get different types of drones, too. We've only seen these two, but... 
what I see I like. So it seems like they can be loaded with two missiles and they have two guns or cannons on them and then the little TV on it right there. You can see the little screen at the front or a camera and I'd love to be able to actually monitor that. Is there a way to actually... Yeah, these that might be what these are for. And I don't know if we can control it ourselves or not, but... Oh, there she goes. Wow, that was faster than I anticipated. All right, let's see if we can strike the enemy position. So, as far as I know, this enemy base or this enemy island should be captured. There's really nothing else here for us. Nothing else on radar. We can go and try to search the other sections of the island, but it seems like for the most part our vehicles can successfully look around without too much trouble. Capture island using seal and virus bots. I don't know what the virus bot is, but we have the seals here. I don't see anything else that launched from our carrier. I do like how we can reach over though. Whoa, damn. There's lightning on the island now? I don't see any more anti-aircraft fire coming up. And we got our own friendly aircraft there. Now if we zoom out, we can see some stuff down here. Maybe our home base from before. We can see it off in the distance. Maybe. Wow. Oh. What? Oh, we might have to do like maintenance and stuff? Wait, what is this? Secret nuclear button or something? Wait, what the hell is this? This is locked. Wait, is this for like launching nukes? Hold on. We need a key, we need a key and then we need a button. We need to press the button, but this is locked. Dude, there's something here. <laughs> that could be like a, a failsafe or something like that. Or maybe to scuttle the ship. Perhaps we activate the, um, you know, charges or something like that and get ready to detonate. Wow. Is there a captain's quarters? Let's look around a little bit more. We, we barely even toured the ship. It takes a very long time to walk around a carrier, though. Whoa, damn, lightning strike. We've got uh, what looks to be a server room here, pantry... Uh, crew quarters, possibly the captain's room. Apparently that window's open. Wow. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and just say the uh, island has been successfully taken, and that this is definitely taking my uh, attention, and I want to see more from this one. Carrier Command 2, I saw the first game, it looked much different in terms of its appearance art-wise, but I think this is a step in the right direction to kind of bring it into more people's radars. I like it, dude. We haven't done much, but now I want to do much more. You guys are amazing. Thanks again for all the support. Thanks for subscribing to the channel and hanging out. Thank you very much for just being here. I'll see you all next time. Thanks again for dropping by to see Carrier Command 2, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody. We'll see you all very soon.